Up next, an up-close look at Michelle Branch with questions from the AOL audience. Hey, I'm Michelle Branch, and you're watching Sessions at AOL. Now, don't just walk away. Sedona, Arizona native Michelle Branch went from beginner musician to major label rock star in a few short years. Her debut album, The Spirit Room, was one of the bright spots of 2001 and her recent collaboration with Santana, The Game of Love, won over even more fans. Now she presents the writing she's done on the road while touring over the last couple of years with her latest, Hotel Paper. AOL member Tjocko325 wanted to know how the new album title came about. The last couple of years I've spent mostly on the road living in hotels, living out of my suitcase, and um, almost every song on this record I wrote on the hotel stationery that you get, you know, that has a little matching pen. It just, it's just seemed very appropriate because it's, you know, what I've been, what I've been doing for the past couple of years, writing on hotel paper. Michelle says her time on the road has been an enlightening experience. I guess one of the themes of my record um, is, is independence in a way because this is my first time really in my life where I'd been out on my own without anyone around, um, traveling the world, meeting people for the first time, experiencing things for the first time, um, all while writing about it. Uh, and so a lot of the, a lot of the songs not, are not only about different relationships with people, but also some of the songs are, you, can, you listen to them and you think they're about someone else, but they're really kind of geared towards myself, asking myself a lot of questions. But um, independence could definitely be a theme of this record. On the first Maverick release, The Spirit Room, Michelle was still in her teens when the songs were coming together. The new album reflects a major turning point in her life. I was 14 and 15 when I wrote the songs for the first record. Um, by the time I recorded it, I had just turned 17, and I've, I've lived that record for the past couple of years, and i um, going to be 20 now. Um, the songs have changed so much because I've grown up so much. This record is going to be different for me because a lot of the songs are so personal. And I can tell you who it's about and where I was when I wrote it. And the first record was not personal. It was all very fictional. We asked if having a successful debut allowed her to take more chances on the follow-up release. I have so much more creative freedom than I, I ever thought imaginable. You know, if I, for example, there's a song called Empty Handed on the record, and we started and I was like, I really want a string arrangement on this record, and I don't want, you know, somebody playing it on, you know, some pads or some samples on a keyboard. By far, my favorite moment um, in making this record was watching an orchestra play music that I wrote, it was insane. 